What's good, y'all? Welcome to my review of this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai, the final chapter. So let's begin. Alright, guys. Now, a lot of stuff happened in this episode, especially with Vegeta, that has me asking some questions, which I will talk about when we get to those parts of the episode. So we start this episode off, as we did last time, with a giant explosion that, that destroyed the border ship. And it was Vegeta that caused the explosion when he was on his way back. And so we... So yeah, we have stared down these pyramids, the Deborah's pyramids, like, um, or I should say, uh, yeah, Bobbity, <laughs> Deborah, Deborah's dead. Uh, Bobbity is always like, like, I, I don't say, he's like, Vegeta, why did you destroy my shit? Blah, 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 you know, usually he's like, I, Vegeta doesn't, doesn't give shit at all. And, while it's going down, we eventually then, Vegeta actually lands down, and then, you know, got Trunks is over there cheering him on and shit, and, he says something, and that, then he says, um, so that's Majin Buu, the guy that, the monster that killed Gohan. So, apparently, Gohan is dead, and apparently, which I rewatched it, so to confirm that, which, it, well, we don't really get confirmation whether or not he's dead or not, but then I actually watched the preview to next week's episode, where I hear Gohan's voice in the preview, so, I'm guess so that pretty much, so I'm guessing that, so either they bring him back to the Dragon Balls that quickly, or he's actually not dead, he's just unconscious. I don't know, or, I don't know, so, I don't know, so I guess I'll find out next week on what, like, what the hell's actual status with Gohan. And actually, while this is going down, uh, we have, a, we have Vegeta has an inner monologue where we get to a little bit more back, where we get to see a little bit more of Vegeta, uh, while, you know, uh, while they're staring down each other, Gohan, I mean, Vegeta, and Majin Buu, where, you know, Majin Buu's concentrating into Goku, and where we pretty much say that how Vegeta, that, that he's pretty much tired of Goku taking all the glory, you know, and him, and always, you know, winning, like, you know, and then we got some clips of him, uh, of Gohan, of Goku versus Frieza at the end of, uh, you know, Saiyan Sock, when he, like, sliced up, uh, Vegeta at Namek, as well as when then he's like, then you had to die, like, you know, in the Cell Saga, or the Cell Game Saga, I should say. Uh, when he died, um, you know, saying that he's tired of him always taking all the glory, and that he, that's the reason he knocked him out at the beginning of the last week's episode, so he could, you know, take the win, and, you know, finally get rid of Majibu himself, not instead of having to be Goku, where he said, when you wake up, this will be the last time you hear a Majin Buu story, and my... And then he says, I'm not going to hell alone, I'm taking you guys with me. So, and actually, the episode, this, this week's episode is actually called, uh, I will, I believe it's called, I know it's, it's, like, it's like, I will fight the mod, I believe, but this is what he actually says, Vegeta's final Mortal Kombat. So, I don't know, no, with such an epic, with a, a title such as that, and a preview that kind of tells me uh, that I don't know what the hell is going on, so, I don't know what the hell Vegeta plans on doing next week. I'm curious, I'm definitely curious on what uh, Vegeta has in store for me next week, I don't know, I don't know what the hell he's planning, but yeah, I guess I'll find next week. So, now let's talk about the fight itself. The fight itself, once again, great art and animation, excellent, and probably that was some excellent voice about Chris Savage as Vegeta, always, the man is a god, I, said, I love Chris Savage as Vegeta, this is why I cannot listen to Dragon Ball sub, the, oh, the English dub is just so good, the English dub to Dragon Ball is so good. So, while that's going down, so the fight's up going down, and I wouldn't necessarily call it a one-sided beatdown because while Vegeta's pretty much doing all the fighting, like, like, Vegeta, like, uh, Boo lands, like, I don't think he lands any hits on, uh, Vegeta, but the hits that go, that Vegeta's landing on, uh, Boo, literally have, like, zero to no damage on him, but the fight, but the yeah, great art animation, um, uh, you know, he, like, gives him, gets some nice good kicks and punches, but, you know, it's all really for nothing. And then after a while, he, you know, gives, uh, Boo this Kai Blast, I guess, that, that has a, that creates, like, a giant hole in Majin Boo, which, you know, which took him down, and then Deboro's like, oh, this one, I mean, not Deborah Bobbity, it's because that's, like, you know, is Majin Boo, extended, which, now he gets back up, you know, regenerates back, and then Vegeta, and they, they has this huge, then this huge, then, uh, Majin Boo, like, I guess, I don't know what he's, I think he's, like, char I guess he's charging up his key or something, where they lead loose this huge, this big ass explosion that, you know, um, takes down everybody, you know, uh, Vegeta, you know, the crew, as well. So we get that, after, so we get to see the aftermath of it, where, you know, Vegeta is, like, you know, walking, it's like, it's covered in blood, but it's barely walking. Supreme Kai is gone, uh, and Vegeta, and we see, um, Go, and, um, we see Pic what happened to Piccolo, Krillin, uh, Gotenks, and Trunks. Which they are pretty much fine. They got they were all they got under the meat. They were trying to to move around some rubble to get out, but they were fine. And then Vegeta says that he's too strong. And uh, now while this is all going down, uh, we we see a couple times when we start we go with Piccolo, 
where he's like, you know, type of like, you know, with that, where's Go, where's Goku? Like this, like he's so strong. Like he, I think our whole faith of the plan in ourselves is on the is on the shoulders of Vegeta. And Vegeta says, I believe, I, mean, I was saying this again, that he said that he's too strong. That he's too strong, but you know, Vegeta's pride, he ain't, he ain't backing down. And the episode ends there. So overall, this was a, another fan. And actually, we also do see a. Um, we do one at one part of the episode. We go back to seeing a Goku, uh, but he just he just says Vegeta, and then he just like uh, moves a little bit, but not really that much. And after that, and then pretty much that's when the episode ends. After when Vegeta says, you know, uh, he's too strong, and Vegeta's like, you know, barely standing up. So overall, this was a fantastic episode. Once again, great, but. Uh, with a title such as that, you know, Vegeta's Final Mortal Combat, which, <laughs> so I hear that, which was weird, it was spelled with the C, not a camp, so he's a Mortal Combat, no, never mind. Um, it was, I'm so, I'm, I'm very interested in what next week has to from the preview we got from this, for, for, for next week, as well as what Vegeta says in this video, as well as the title for this video, I am really curious on what Vegeta has in store for me, because I'm like, I'm like, what the hell is this, like, photo my account, I'm not going to hell alone, uh, but, 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 what, I don't know, I don't know if people, I guess it's like, I'm guessing this fact that I'm going to wind up killing them, I'm guessing, I don't know what the hell's going to go down, I thought, I guess we'll find out next week, or at least you have the blue rays and you already know, <laughs> but yeah, guys, overall, I guess this episode, a 9.5 out of 10, great art animation for the fight, great at voice for Chris Stabbitt himself as Vegeta, and overall, fantastic this episode, so, Hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.